British Prime Minister David Cameron arrives in Brussels to drum up support for his EU reform demands. He's met the European Parliament's president, who said members would not block a deal to keep the UK in the EU, but may not back it fully. Very clearly, the EU has never been in such a dramatic situation as it is this week, he says. We're negotiating on a necessary compromise with a state that's a member of the G7 and has veto rights at the UN Security Council. We want Great Britain to stay a member of the EU. Cameron's visit to Brussels comes just two days before EU leaders thrash out the proposals at a summit, this ahead of a referendum in Britain on membership of the bloc. If the outcome of that is to stay, the Parliament will still need to approve key elements of the reform deal. The European People's Party group doesn't want Britain's case to open the floodgates. The most important thing for us as the EPP group is that we talk uh, in the next days about a Britain deal. We are not wanting to open the whole debate about further requests from member states. We are only talking about a Britain deal at the moment. UKIP's Nigel Farage says Cameron is gutless for not having met all party leaders in Brussels, as was originally planned. He's maintaining the deal on the table is pitiful and its terms will be vetoed in the European Parliament. So all eyes are now on Thursday's summit here in Brussels when EU leaders will try to iron out the remaining differences. It's clear David Cameron's reform package is by no means a done deal. Donald Tusk has said that the talks are now at a critical stage and the risk of a breakup is real. Damon Embling, Euronews, Brussels.